ensuring that the quality of your data in your data warehouse is high and that you maintain this quality uh, means that you need to be able to understand what the quality of your data looks like. So what I've created here are a couple of database views that will give us some insight into the quality of our data. So this isn't an exhaustive um, query or a couple of queries that aren't exhaustive in the sense that they cover the entire database, but these are just a couple of examples of what some views, some useful database views might look like that would assist you in identifying and maintaining data quality. So the first one is a completeness view. So this is basically just checking for null records, making sure that you don't have any nulls where you shouldn't have nulls, right? Um, so this is what the view looks like. Essentially, we're just um, counting the number of nulls and specifying which table and which uh, column the nulls are in. So if we look at what that looks like, we'll see that we've got a list of tables, a list of columns, we call them attributes here, and then the number of nulls. So in this case, we could go to the account name or is active columns in the accounts dimensions table and rectify that. So I think this is an issue that I identified in a previous video, which would need some manual intervention in order to populate these nulls. So this is very useful, especially when you're creating a dashboard that is linked to the database so that you can monitor these um, data quality issues um, as they happen or live, if you've got a live uh, database connection to the database for some dashboarding or visualization tool. So that's the first one, completeness, checking for some nulls. Second, we've got uniqueness. And this is essentially checking for duplicates, making sure that we've got unique records, all right? So here we're counting the number of, of records, counting the number of distinct records, and then subtracting uh, distinct from number of records to determine if you've got duplicate records, right? So this will obviously, in this case, I've only done this for two columns, but this would be much more extensive if you are actually implementing this in a real database. We can see what that looks like. So you've got your, got your table, you've got your column that you want to check uniqueness for, and that will give you these um, stats for these columns. If we, maybe we can have a look at what um, that might look like if we do have duplicates. Um, let's Let's, um, let's call that video test, right? We add that twice, then we should get some duplicates, right? So now we've got 29 records and 28 distinct records because I've added this video test value twice and it tells you there that the We've got some duplicate in the category name column in the categories dimension table, which is exactly where I've populated this duplicate. So let's, um, let's just fix that. There we go, and now we should have no more duplicates, right? Okay, that's our uniqueness view. Next, we've got the validity view, and that's just making sure that the values in a column adhere to what we expect, right? So let's look at this one. In our category key, we want that to be a number greater than zero, right? So if we have a look at what this looks like, 
but is active we want that to be a value that's either 0 or 1 um, as you saw in one of the previous examples we haven't populated that column yet so that we've got nothing in there but for example category key we want that to be a value greater than 0 and as we can see all of those valid uh, records are valid if any of those keys were a value of a negative value then we would have had a one there this is quite useful for uh, numbers like integers um, amount values transaction amounts um, this is where this becomes quite useful consistency let's see what consistency looks like all right so consistency is essentially checking that um, the values are consistent right across across the database so here we can see that we don't have two values for bank charges right we might have had bank charges and fees with a symbol and then bank charges and fees with a word so this makes it easy to identify that uh, you're using consistent values across the database right that's essentially what consistency does for us and then data integrity which is essentially um, making sure that when data moves from the source data to the data warehouse or from staging to the data warehouse that we have got the same values right so if we have a look at what this looks like just uh, we can see that our source table uh, category dimension to our target table to the transaction stack we want the category keys in the categories dimension to be the same as the category keys in the target uh, in the transactions fact table right um, because if we have a category in the transactions that is not in the category that's an issue so let me add actually let's just let's add our dummy column again our dummy uh, category right We've added this video test category and what we should see now that when we look at data integrity it's identified this 1182 category key as an integrity mismatch because this is now in our categories column but not in our transactions column so if we uh, select all from categories dimension where category key is 1182 we'll see that this category key is the one that I just inserted right the video test that I inserted so this will pick up things that are not matching between our essentially our source data our staging data table and our uh, target table which brings me to the point of staging which is not something that I did for this database but which I'm considering let me just delete this adding so what I've added here is a transaction staging database and essentially what that will do is will give us the opportunity to compare the source data to the data that that we are using in our data warehouse um, and just to check things like data integrity so um, right. look at the staging transactions which is exactly the CSV file that comes in right and essentially this was being done in visual code or in Python we're taking this data and transforming it and then importing that transformed data into our data warehouse so the idea is that we're going to store this source data in a staging table and then from there we can do the transformations um, and that becomes very useful especially with keeping track of historical source data and then just the last data quality check that would be useful for adding to a um, dashboard or visualization to keep track of data quality is the number of rows in each table 
So this is just a query that looks at all the tables in the schema and then gets the number of rows for that table. And you can see we just got our various tables and the number of transactions in those tables. You can see this is duplicated because I was doing some testing on this. I'm not yet using this as a live uh, as a live record of my thoughts. Busy messing around and testing out this um, setup for the data warehouse. So that's just a, a look at some of the things we can do to keep track of data quality. And definitely, with a live link to this um, to these database views for data quality, we can keep track of our data quality with a visualization or a dashboard in real time.